choose your own suits. Now, in some places, I know, there's hair colors galore, but in Mop Top, there's red heads and blue heads, no more. And one day in Mop Top, you fall with a whammy, in love with a Mop Topian neighbor named Sammy, who's driven and clever and quite the good cook, and whose hair, which you love, is as red as a book. He has one look at Sammy, the world starts to twirl, you blush from your toes to your coppery curls, and Sammy loves you with passion and gusto. And that's where the problems set in, as they must do. In Mop Top, a couple's a red and a blue. I guess they think love has a purplish hue. So you love Sammy in public and take what they give you, or love him in private and hope they don't outlive you. One or two. Yes, you love him in daylight. Who cares what they say? But I warn you that this is a powerful day. They're the leerers who jeer at you crossing the street. The authors who write stories where two reds never meet. They're the mayor of all Mop Town, I'm sorry to say. And the cronies of his who wear bathrobes all day. And one brave morning you walk and you and Sammy decide to walk hand in hand down Main Mop Town with pride. These are people you were raised with who are groaning and grinning and grumbling and growling about how you are sinning. Just talk to them, just as people. It's one easy job, but people are one thing. And then there's a mob, and a mob forms behind you and one up the street, and it's only 42 steps until they finally meet. Do you fight for your rights and the love that you lodge, or slip down an alley, get the hell out of Dodge? You make your escape with the mob in pursuit. You stow away on a tramp steamer bound for Beirut. You run eastly and westly, but with no final success. Ignorance, it would seem, has no lasting address. You hide in a houseboat. You live in the trees. You live in a temple and give up early degrees. You live on an island until a monsoon. You circle the earth from your house in the moon. And as you grow older, the run turns to a stroll. The years of excitement have taken their toll. And most afternoon, Sammy, around three he naps. And you will lie alongside him and think just perhaps that one day there's a place that's safe enough to go home. But until then, your love, like the stars, it must roam. And this was your story of Sammy, my friends. And now it is over, and this is the end. Yeah.